It's October 15th, 2023, and after a successful day of chasing Norfolk and Western 611 in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, we prepared to start heading for home. With a specific course of action in mind, we begin working our way north through the remainder of Old Dominion. We eventually wind up outside Luray, Virginia, on the Norfolk Southern Roanoke District. This line is one of the last few that still retains its original installations of us &S color position light signals from the previous owner of the line, Norfolk and Western. Over the course of the last few months, these signals have slowly been getting replaced with newer safe trans signals, so we made it a point to grab some photos of these signals before they were gone forever. Unfortunately, there were no trains lined through the area at our time of our visit, but we did walk away happy knowing that we at least got to take pictures of the signals before they were gone. Back on the road and heading north, it's not long before we cross into the state of Maryland, and we quickly approach the city of Cumberland. An unexpected stop outside CSX's massive Cumberland Yard reveals CSX ES44DC5327. Applied to the sides of the locomotive's nose is the Western Maryland Railway's Fireball logo, a fitting welcome into Cumberland and a great transition into the rest of the video. Just down the street is the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad's Cumberland Station. The WMSR hosts a great variety of passenger excursions based out of here. Upon arrival, we find EMD GP30 number 501 backing out of the station with the Pumpkin Patch Limited towards the railroad's yard on the other side of the river in West Virginia. The station itself was built in 1913 as a stop for the Western Maryland Railway and operated as a passenger station until service was discontinued on the line in 1959, with Western Maryland ending operations on this line as a whole in May of 1975. In 1981, this line reopened under new ownership as a scenic railroad, and that brings us to where we are at today. Crossing the Potomac River and into Maryland comes the main attraction for the day, a stunning Baldwin Locomotive Works 2662, built in 1949 for the Chesapeake and Ohio Railway, number 1309. For the longest time, this locomotive sat as a display piece at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum in Baltimore, Maryland, but was sold to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad in 2014. After a long, painstaking restoration process, 1309 is currently the pride and joy of the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, and can often be seen pulling trains up and down the line. Today would be no exception, as 1309 pulls the Frostburg Flyer into the station.
before 1309 departed Cumberland, we moved down the line a ways to get set up for our first shot at the Cumberland Narrows. This is where the main line of the Western Maryland Scenic parallels the Potomac River. CSX's Keystone Subdivision also runs parallel on the other side, and daily intermodal train I-135 was passing as we pulled in. Soon, 1309 could be heard approaching in the distance. As of the making of this video, she wears a long bell three chime whistle of Southern Railway heritage, and it sounded great echoing through the Cumberland Narrows on its way out of town. After that, we made our way to one of the most well-known locations on this line, Homesteaders Curve. Here there's a graveyard where you can set up and get a beautiful shot of the train as it passes through the beautiful hills and mountains along the line.
Just past Trimble Road lies an old Western Maryland signal bridge. We learned about this spot in advance and made it a point to shoot the train here. You may notice that the signal bridge spans the length of two tracks, and that's because this railroad used to be double-tracked, with the second main line being converted into a recreational trail that follows the line from Cumberland to Frostburg. The Frostburg Flyer can now be seen entering its namesake city of Frostburg, Maryland. Being the western terminus of the WMSR, there is a turntable here, as well as the historic Frostburg Station, both of which are still used to this day. After the train comes to a stop, passengers riding will disembark here and are given a few hours to explore the town. We, however, stuck around at the depot to get some close-up shots of 1309. With a decent-sized drive home ahead of us, we decided to end our adventure here. Having this amazing weekend come to a close, I would like to thank everybody for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell as to not miss any future videos. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out my last video, where we chased Norfolk & Western J-Class Steam Locomotive number 611 
on the Shenandoah Valley Limited. This is Anthony with Northern Ohio Railfending Productions, signing off.